and welcome to the Canvas Fast Track. In this two and a half minute video, we will discuss why chunking content in content pages is beneficial to the learner. Also, how it can support best practices in design for the mobile learner. Some of the best course designs we have seen involve chunking content into smaller bite-sized pieces. Yes, it's important for students to get all that information, but how can we make it more digestible, consumable, and keep interest alive? Think of those younger learners or students on the go who are accessing items via mobile. Start with smaller objectives for each content page. What is the purpose of the information and what would I like to assess from this content either in a formative or summative manner? Do I have a quick checkpoint at the end of each content page? A common complaint or concern we hear is the appearance of students having to endlessly scroll on their mobile device or browser to find information. Scrolling isn't completely dead, but there are a few design items to keep in mind. When creating content pages that have length to them, 80% of focus time of a student is geared at the information first presented on the page. So make sure that your most important elements are right there at the top of the page. Also, think of using headers in Canvas to help with breaking up key information. Students' eyes will track to different styles and bolded items on your content page. Creating content in a more bite-sized piece is incredibly helpful for mobile users of Canvas. If I'm a student on the subway on my way to work, I can quickly access a content page, get some information, and know where I left off and plan to return later. If a student wants to review before the summative exam or a timed essay in class the next day, they can search through different content pages quickly to gather the resources they need to be successful. Name the content page specifically to the unit, lesson, or chapter and concept it covers to assist in better use of use. Content pages have a lot of names and ideas for uses. In this instance, we'll look at the hyperlink wiki elements. Like Wikipedia, we can create a space that can be com commonly collaborated on. We'll discuss this in a future Fast Track video. But adding in hyperlinks of other assessments or content pages can create a great workflow for students when accessing the resources they need to be successful. Use the content page navigation to add some of your other published items into your course. Thank you for watching. Please comment below with any suggestions or requests for future Fast Track videos.